Hey everybody, this is your girl Muffin Stuff. I'm sorry, I'm so nasally right now. I'm dealing with a sinus infection and this hair is not helping. I'm going to start out. This hair is the the Impress Lace Wig um, and it's the one here in the center. It is the um, Senegal Collection Braided Lace Wig. Um, and it's in a color 1B30. And these are the Senegal Locks. Um, now I was looking online and I was trying to find a Senegalese Twist Wig. And um, they were pretty expensive. They were all about $100, um, just under $100. I'm cheap. I don't know about all y'all. I know I look at some people's YouTube page and they got some hair that is out of this world. Me, I like to change up my hair so much that I just cannot. I can't spend that kind of money on hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> But this hair, um, it was originally $105 for the wig, and I found it at um, Elevated Styles for $60. It was on clearance, which means I can't return it because, believe me, I tried. Once I pulled this sucker out of that bag and saw this big old puff of hair, I was sick. I'd be sick. Anyway, what I've done today is I pulled it out again because I threw this sucker in my closet. I ain't put it back in the, the packaging or anything. Once I tried to call them and they told me I could not return this sucker. Oh, honey, all I'm going to say is I was devastated because I wanted my damn $60 back. But since I cannot return it, I have taken the time to try to do something with it. Now, I've looked at a lot of other YouTube pages about this wig, even before it came in the mail. I was looking at other YouTubers, and I saw theirs, and they pulled their thing out of the bag, too. And it looked just as rough and tough as mine did. And they were able to hook it up. So, what I'm finding is... Um, it does come with a, a part, but it was so like mushed up in that mess that I had to go in, take some of these twists out and pluck some of this out. I've never had to do that with the wig. I am a get my wig out of the bag, shake it, fluff it and go kind of girl. This wig is probably going to take me till my birthday in March to get this wig looking halfway decent to even walk out of the house with. But what I'm finding today, after I have plucked it, I did put the concealer on there. I still do have the lace part. It does come with combs and an adjustable strap. Um, and it does have these little baby hair thingies. Which look like perm hair. My hair is natural, so it's kind of weird. I'm going to try and work with those. But what I have done is I have plucked it out. Uh, plucked out the part. Put in my concealer. And um, I have retwisted a lot of the ones in the front. I've retwisted a lot of these on this side. And I'm still working on this one. As you can see, this one's still unraveled. But what I've noticed about this wig is that for every twist they have in here... It's like really two twists once you take it down and retwist it. So they don't have to be this fat and, and ropey. Because here in the back, I... Look at this. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it has like... You can actually see the wig, wig cap. I have... Uh, never. So... What I'm doing is I'm taking all these twists down. I'm retwisting them into two, two twists themselves. I will dip it when I'm finished because when it came, it you know it looked pretty much like it had been dipped in hot water so that it didn't unravel, which is all fine and good. But it's it's a mess. And it's going to take some work. So anybody that is planning on getting this wig, first of all, do not get it from Elevated Styles because if you do, you stuck with it. Um... Second of all, plan on putting some work into it. 
I mean, some serious, serious work. Now, I do my own crochet braids. I have done a lot with Marley hair, thank God, because I probably wouldn't know what the hell to do with this hair had I not already worked with Marley hair. But, um, like I said, I'm going to have to take all of these, all of these twists down and turn them into two twists a little thinner just so it can first of all cover that cap and second of all fill out this wig and, and make it lay right because this part right here was just one big puff it looked like Rastafarian straight up Rastafarian hair and I, I ain't ever seen such in my life now it's all fine and good I, I'm, I'm all for my peace and love my Rastafari Jamaican love but honey I don't want to go around looking like one when I paid $60 for it either. So, these are the twists that have been um, retwisted. Um, as you can see, the ends are not as tight as they were, but I can go through and I can clean those ends up and then dip them in the hot water so that it seals them and they're uh, not going to unravel. Um, so, yeah, this is the wig. I will, I guess, post some pictures after I finally get it done. I'm going to cut off this uh, lace front part, uh, get it together so that it looks halfway decent. Sorry, I don't have on any makeup. I just figured, let me come on here before I do all of this work and then nobody knows that I put in all this work on this hair. Um, <sighs> If you have any questions about it, if you have had any experiences with this hair or or you know something that will work a little bit better or make it a little easier on me, I would greatly appreciate your comments below. Please subscribe. I do plan on making a lot more videos. Um, I have been inconsistent. I've kind of been on and off about doing a YouTube page. But right now, I really I think this is going to be my year. So, with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you got a laugh out of it because I sure didn't. I didn't appreciate having to do all this work. And I really would rather have my $60 back as broke as I am right now. Uh, but Happy New Year 2016 to all of my um, sisters out there and brothers that may be watching this page. Uh, but yes, let me know. Uh, this hair... Uh, just to give you a sense of how long it is, it comes down probably about waist length. And I'm five, eight and a half, so I'm a tall girl. This is, some, this is a lot of hair. So the last thing I want is a, a whole long mangle mess. So um, anyway, um, this is your girl, Muffin Stuff. Um, Subscribe, like this page, and I will see y'all soon to let you see what the rest of this looks like. I'll do an update video or I will post some pictures at the end of this one whenever I finally get it uploaded and all that good stuff. Um, enjoy your day and peace and love.